Equality Labs and The Laura Flanders Show are excited to help you secure your Android. Phones are our frenemies when it comes to digital security. From communication to banking, they are the center of our digital lives, which makes them a crucial point of vulnerability. From phone seizures to security breaches to intrusive government surveillance, the best defense is a collective one where we are all more literate about our phone security. And a last tip, keep in mind all Android operating systems vary. Use this workflow as a guide to find the settings that work for your phone. Putting a pin code on your phone ensures you have one layer of protection if anyone is trying to get a hold of your physical phone. We recommend a pin code over a fingerprint and even a swipe because there are more legal protections for the pin passcode. Encryption simply means scrambling data with math. You can encrypt a message, encrypt a communication line, or in this case, we can encrypt the data of a device. So by activating encryption, we are scrambling and making our data inaccessible. For additional security, add an app lock software to protect other apps you'd like to secure. Some apps like Signal have their own app lock protection. Check it out and secure up. Make sure you turn off location services. Much of the location data collected on our phone is unnecessary, and many corporations use, sell, and swap this data without our consent. So scroll through the applications in your location services and choose which apps you want to track data and which you don't. Make sure you clear your threads frequently. Keep in mind that texts and phone calls are not secure and are surveilled under multiple government surveillance programs. Use a secure messaging app like Signal to minimize insecure communications. Use a virtual private network or the Tor browser to protect your network access. Orfox and Orbot are the Android versions of the Tor browser. They allow you to create more discreet and anonymous network connections on your phone. A virtual private network, or VPN, privatizes your network search, so your internet searches are only your own and not the internet companies. Both offer options for discretion, but only Tor is anonymous. While a VPN will store your data for some time, VPN will give you faster connections and allow you to use multimedia. So make your choice according to your risk and usage needs. When you use your camera, know that your photographs can share information about you, where you took the photo, what phone you use, and even the altitude of your location. It does this through something called metadata, which is simply data about your data. And all of this information is stored in the metadata of images that are taken on your phone's camera. To protect yourself, make a conscious choice about sharing that information by using an Android app like Xcef Eraser. Download DuckDuckGo to replace your web browser. Protect the accounts that you use regularly like your email, banking, and shopping apps with a password manager like LastPass, 1Password, or KeePassX. These applications will allow you to create and store individual passwords for all of your accounts without you having to memorize them. Additionally, you can add another layer of protection with two-factor authentication. This basically forces all of your accounts to verify your identity with another layer. It's like how Prince Charming used both Cinderella's face and her shoe to confirm she was his true love. Similarly, use two-factor authentication with apps like Authy or Duo so that you can make sure no one else but you is allowed into your apps. Learn more about two-factor authentication at turnon2fa.com. That's it for now. For tips and support, please visit equalitylabs.org or our curriculum site at digitalsecurityforall.org. For more reporting and journalism that matters, please visit lauraflanders.com.